Hey guys, welcome to another Fancy Friday. Um, I've taken two or three weeks off here, and just summer's kicking off, and it's really, really busy. Life is busy. So uh, I'm a musician on the side as well, and it's just been gig after gig and practice after practice and that kind of thing. So I apologize for slacking a little bit on Fancy Friday, but uh, I'll make it up to you in the next couple weeks here with some really good stuff. But uh, this right here is a note that I actually just got. Um, let's see, it is Memorial Day right now. So what is that, the 29th of May? And um, I got this in a couple days ago. This right here is a repeater note, but it is a repeater on a 1928 B series $10 bill. All right, now... The 28B series, 28A, and just the 1928, uh, they all have some differences going on. The, just the standard 28 has the numeral seal right here. You might see a big 1 or a big 7 or a big 13, something like that. And that's simply talking about the same thing the letter D is. This says Cleveland, Ohio. Notice right underneath Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, if it were 4, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, all right, that would be Cleveland as well, and that's how the 28 would actually be signified. But this being a 28B series, all right, it, they've actually switched over to the letter instead of the number there. So that's kind of a distinct difference. But uh, it's Fancy Friday, and we're talking about this serial number. Now, this is a really cool serial number because it does repeat 1811, 1811. And with it being on such an older issued bill, um, it's you know it's kind of valuable. It's it's I know rare. You just never see these things. And I love the looks of the fives, the tens, and the twenties from this series. And uh, I think I only have one other fancy from this series. They just hardly ever come up. Uh, a bill like this in this shape, flip it over and stuff. Um, it's a solid VF 20, I think maybe VF 25 right through there. Um, somewhere in the ballpark of about $250. All right. Some may be shaking their head right now, but go out and find you one. And you know, if you do good luck finding it for, uh, or purchasing it for less than 250. So I feel like I got a pretty decent deal on this. Um, I'll tell you, I paid, you know, I'm somewhere around that 250 mark or so. But uh, a note like this in, say, uncirculated shape, with it being a repeater, um, could, you know, very easily get up there in the six to $700 range, I believe, pretty easily, if not more. But I am unaware of any in that range that are fancies. But uh, yet again, I uh, apologize for not having videos out the last few weeks, but uh, you know how life goes. But I appreciate you tuning in. And I hope you tune in next week for another one. Thank you for watching.